Yes. No, no, no! I guess it will, she doesn't behave, shut up. I think. I think the kitten's gonna have to go inside. I yeah. She's just way too rambunctious this morning. She took me too hard for this morning. No! No, don't eat the clay! Uh, oh. Come here, girl. Now yeah. She's hiding. So in his yeah, bed. Come here, come here. Come here. She doesn't. Come here. Yes, there we go. Too cold out here for the kitten this morning. Okay, she's just bouncing off the walls. I will be right back. And they're going to be throwing mugs, mugs and today. And as a random pieces to fill orders. So, good morning. Get this up over here. Such a good tree expression I just saw. It. Yeah. Ah. Good morning, Will, Floyd, and the other two names didn't show up. So, but good morning, guys. How are you guys doing this morning out there? Chasing the kitten. The cat was literally bouncing off everything. Just like, can I get on the back? No. Nope. If I jump over here, Painter, Jewel, Curious. Good morning. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing this morning? Gonna be doing bugs of various sizes. Various. Yes, like what she just said. Apparently, my mouth didn't. Okay, so the first one we need, we need eight, Good morning, is 16 to 18 ounce size. This is a piece that decided to not stick to the middle the other day. Uh, water's almost warm. Cool. Sounds Probably like it should be enough. warm enough. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was reachable. Either yes. was I. But we're back to cold weather. It's raining. <sighs> it's amazing. With the heater going for an hour, it's still only like 58 out here, so. Plus, we switched from a few days ago, we had tank tops. Now we're back to sweatshirts. And hats. Oh. Good morning, oh, Paris. Yeah. Good morning, Kathy. Maybe getting motivated to paint over. Oh, I understand that. Uh, that's why I have shoes on. <laughs> I like thud. My shoes are very clay colored. This morning it was getting, um, the room warm enough because we actually have the heater going to oh, warm things up out of here. Okay, yeah, trying to stay uh, um, busy during self quarantine. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. For us, since the um, since so many events have gotten canceled, yeah, it kind of quarantined us by default. Yeah. So we are just self quarantining. So we have plenty to do here. Yeah. We've done yard work. Okay. Oh, hello. Then yard okay. work. We've Brittany. Oh. Good morning. We've ordered a um, bunch of seeds to get some garden started, which was something that we've been wanting to do anyways. Yeah. Just give us a little more impetus. Brittany's watching. Hello. I'm going to rearrange the garage some. Make more working space. Yeah. Put up more shelves. We have plenty of shelves, we just haven't gotten a chance to setting them up yet. Okay, so we need that one, which will be a 16 to 18 ounce. Oh, this is a 16 to 18? It needs to be a 16 to 18 ounce book. Yes. Yes. That's why I was making There's sure. There's not 16 to 18 ounces of clay. 
It's the Good Morning mug. Nancy. And the, it'll be a plain, no exterior de decoration mug. So okay. if you want to leave pretty throwing rings, you can. Oh, yeah, that would be nice, huh? Okay. Okay. It's all about the shape in that case. Good morning, Nancy. Anything, anybody have any interesting projects going on right now? Saw Will the other day with his live stream. He was painting. It's a pretty cool looking painting, too. Oh, another of his live streams, he was drumming. Drumming. Oh, well, I missed that one. There we go. So, your next piece will be a bowl. Also, to have a fairy on the bottom. Okay. Oh goodness. What size piece of clay do we need for an 8 to 10 ounce mug? 26 is for 16. Yeah. Is it more like the 16 ounces? The 16 to 20? Okay. Just plump hands. We don't often do. Yeah, a number of people want to small cups, and it's kind of cool. We can do that. Can do that. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. And you realize that. Uh, morning. Hello. When you realize you can develop your own sign language for certain things, and if you're looking for something, yeah. looking through the wire tool. Well, we need to do is set up a bucket out in the yard and put the yeah. towels out there. Yes. That way. <laughs> Yeah, because if, if we don't find toilet paper, we'll wash these really well and we can use towels. We can use. Oh, well, that'll be. Hey, that'll be scrubby. <laughs> because, well, clay after towels. they've been used for clay for a while, um, they develop a distinctive texture. Because There's I use. Towels. I have like 100 to 200 towels that I use for. Out in, the shop for, out in the shop for clay. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of towels. As compared and to use the old the bath towels that got holes or got kind of threadbare that get cut up into eights and okay. they become, well, um, that one's, towels. That one's about 17 ounces. Let's see if we can make an 8 to 10 ounce mug. Okay. Hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Uh, yes, it's when we finished the uh, um, when we finished the throwing for the bowl for this order, I will stick this form in the middle tray. Yeah, and that'll be for things that are at the need sculpting stage. Mm -hmm. Because um, once we're done. Growing for today, we will be switching over to doing candles and sculpting and sculpting squash berries. At the moment, there's five things that need candles immediately. It's so cool to see your hands at work. Oh, thank you. Seven, eight pieces on in the works over there. Yeah. I have to see if all of those need handles because some of them are um, handleless, handleless um, Viking cups with squashed berries. So yeah, it looks like about the 17 ounces is the right size. Yeah, it looks like it'd be. Oh, I'm going to need to pull some smaller handles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jeffrey Bales, Katie Pacentis. Good morning. Good morning. Chris Fowl. Fowl. So how much shape you can that? Worth it. Mm -hmm. Where's my towel? There it the is. The one I just handed Underneath you? Underneath the towel. <laughs> ah, I need a lip. Whee! That one was kind of decorative and good. I'm surprised that one didn't fly off and hit you in the chest with the way that one was they, swinging. They seldom hit me. I know. <laughs> it's just kind of impressive. 
itchy nose? A yeah, piece of hair. It, oh, yeah. Because I have the hat on and it was pushing forward and it didn't go underneath my glasses. Heavy went out with a, a leather sewing machine, so now I have to figure out where else I can fit a potter's wheel. I can buy membership into the community college. Yet, oh, let's see. Potter's wheel. Depends on what? whether you want an electric or kick wheel. Kick wheels are easy to come by cheap because people decide they don't want them anymore. But they need more space. They need more space. Because, you know, you have, what about... Carrie Lee and Scott. Including Lee. a side table, you probably about... Oh, side table on one side. About a 5 by 5 foot space is what she's used, using here for just the wheel. Just the wheel and some shelf. And one shelf. The right. wheels, you can you know, look online... Um, yeah, they could have a lot. Or yeah. something. People decide they don't want them anymore because they last. Oh, they yeah. tend to last longer than people want them in many cases. Okay. So, so I have yeah. three wheels. <laughs> One was given to me because she wasn't using it anymore and she wanted to go to a good home. She was a merchant that retired about oh God, eight years ago. Oh, was that long, wasn't it? Maybe longer? Sonora Enterprises. Yes. So she was. She had been a potter, but after she had been in a oh, car accident. Juliana. Good morning. I do that anymore. Yeah. Good morning, ladies. Nice to see you. It's good morning to you, too. Okay. But yeah, you buy a new wheel. When I got this one, it was like $500. And when did you get it? About 13 years ago. Yeah, you recently um, saw an ad for, for that. The very same, same model, same company. $1,400. That's more than double. That's, more That's than triple. Yeah, that is like triple. And it's kind of like, I was shocked. I'm going, that could be the, yeah, it's the same one. For the ah, same she's thing. Hey, hey, Shane, how's it going this morning? Catherine Walters. Hello. Hope you guys are doing well. And if you're doing something interesting this morning, let us know. There we go. That's the piece for the next, the next one. The next ah, one. The Anthony dropping. Lynch. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. This is not the form that I just had in my head first. Ah, there it is. Or should I say, good morning, Luther. Okay, so bowl. This one is and to this be a bowl. Is Oh, it's a bowl. See, bowl. if I am not paying attention, it will come out to be a cup every time. Because this is one of those mornings where we're going through, and if it's not big enough, that one's about 16 ounces. Bowl holding 16 ounces. No. A oh. Bowl, it, there's 16 ounces of clay there. It's making average size bowl. Upright I, or broad? Really what is the inside or outside design? Carry on the bottom. Oh, okay. So it could be upright. Yeah. Okay, so the I'm dealing with a bubble on this side. Mm. Should I just get you off a different piece for that order then? Yeah. Maybe one of 18 ounces? I don't think the size is wrong. I think it's, but yeah, you could do it 18 ounces. It would be fine. Okay. Let's see. So this one's got a soft corner. I'm going to leave it in. Um, there. Here goes Scott. Good morning. There. There's another bowl piece. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, There's this one. one. It's got a number of little bubbly bits in it. Yeah. Air bubbles in the clay are really bad. They can go bang in the clay. Because, yeah, if I don't get rid of the bubbles, see, air expands when it gets warmer. The clay is not going to expand, so it will go boom, and it could take out things beside it. Which is sad. Which is a very sad thing. It makes for a very grouchy killing pet. I eat meat. And people ask, well, why does she eat the kiln tail? Because so, I made the mistake about 20 years ago Yeah. of going, hey, mom, what can I do to lend you a hand? And here I am. 
I didn't know that four years later it would become a part-time business. And I didn't know at that point in time that that part-time business was going to become a full-time way of life. Yeah, there we go. I do have another bowl piece for you. And now that we're doing it full time, have been for many years. Uh, you know what I was watching. Hello. Hmm. Cool. Is that another bowl piece? Same uh, um, smack. <laughs> Maybe this is the last one. Just bolts. Gonna have plain glaze. And a fairy on the bottom. So uh, a decently sized bottom is a good thing. But it can be other than mm -hmm. that relatively upright. There we go. And no, that's and not the recommended way to do it if you're just starting. The recommended way to do it is more like how she's holding her hands on the plane now. But she has very strong thumbs. And a lot of practice. Okay, so after that piece, that largest piece next to you, the next one will be a um, 28 to 32 ounce small pitcher. Mm -hmm. well, that piece of clay looked like it was much from you. It didn't have bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's starting to rain again. It's supposed to rain for what, most of the next week? Yeah. It's okay. Rain is pretty. Rain waters the garden. Yep. Which is good because we've got two cherry trees and two rose bushes planted. Well, we've got, yeah, we've gotten mm -hmm. them like. We purchased those four plants by some, uh, a few weeks prior. Month or two, Sarah. It wasn't two months. It was Maybe a month long. and a half. But they'd done just well laying on the. They were bare roots, so they were fine. Yeah, but they were starting to uh, bud and grow leaves. So we're like, oh, let's get this one out. Yeah, because you can hear the rain a lot better out here. Yeah. Because what this is, is... An improved patio. It, yeah, it's an improved patio. Great to hang out with you. It's great to hear from you, too. Thank you, Yoko. There we go. Next piece of clay. Small pitcher is what we need for this one. Needs to end up at the 28 to 34 ounce capacity. Start using that word. We're never referring to it because ounce capacity. And capacity. Is it the weight of the clay or is it the capacity of the finished vessel? Because okay. yes, bowls one. and plates are usually measured in inches across, where cups are usually measured in how much they hold. And same pictures. Then you get into the Greek pieces, which are a little different. Yeah, they're special, but they're fun. Yeah, I really enjoy making the Greek reproductions. Okay, gonna get you some more clay ones here. Gonna be more pieces in the um. Uh, 12 to 16 ounce range. Okay. More mugs. <laughs> I only made cash trays. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah. It was kind of the thing that you made with clay project products. My generation when I was in it elementary through middle school. Ah. Would copper things glazes be antibacterial? Would they have antimicrobial properties? I don't know. That's a really good question. Yeah. But if you have too much copper in your glaze, it's not food safe. Probably the answer would be only if the glaze is not food safe. Yeah, you would because have to have that much. I mean, you'd have to have it on the outside, but that would be you're better okay. off just simply putting the thing through the dishwasher, sterilizing it. Yeah. yeah, because also then you're infusing your fire brick with cop a lot of copper. Yeah, because when you 
My son, when he was in high school, for his, he was he was homeschooled, health reasons. But what he did was for his art credits he needed for graduation, and this, he did um, some copper experiments. He would um, make some copper links, copper links, and he tried them out by impressing copper links into clay. One of those pieces is still my pin cut, by the way, but it was interesting because it would turn dark. Yeah, at the bisque level, which is what, 17? Um, I fire no, at 17 something. Code 06, which is the more normally considered one, is 1865. Yeah, and they did. Kill. Yeah. He, what he did is he did the test tiles and see how different clays reacted, which was really interesting. Mind you, one of those clays has been reformulated several times since, yeah, so it but it was the only react the same. It was the only one that didn't react. Of course, it was also the black clay. And the black clay is just different. And then he had one piece that the copper melted through the clay and onto the um, kiln shelf. Kiln stilt, because it was stuck to the stilt. Kiln stilt, yes. Because he did it on a stilt in case it, it was did something really kind of kind of interesting. Did. And with different glazes, it also reacted differently. But it came out black. And there was, he it's did one project. Really He's going, okay, if it runs when you get it up to cone 5, which is our glaze fire temperature. He tried making a um, little waterfall. The copper where it was not touching the clay did not melt. It just became very, it became crystalline black, which was also kind of interesting. But when it was on the cup, which is my pink cup, all the way around, it just kind of waterfalled it down. Hard, which looked really cool. It was supposed to be a bowl, yes, it was at school. I love watching you shape what you're working with. Oh, and you. most of the time, she's not even looking at what she's doing. So I have something that I can look at over here. She's like looking at the little screen that's got people's messages on, or looking at the mirror, looking at the large screen. Looking at the hills, the trees, the rain. Or, or a couple of times it was the snow. The snow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Being originally from California, when we had snow a couple times, this was all kind of... Um, it was fun and novel. It was novel. Michelle. Hello, and Jack Barclay, and me too. Hello, your goose is wow. Okay, and, and the next four big it's supposed to be again. The six, 16 to 24. No, the 28 to 32. Is that not big enough? No, nope, that's not okay. Big enough. In which case, that can just be a mug, and I will cut you off with a larger piece of clay for that piece. Yeah. That was there. This is like 51 ounces. It's like another 10 ounces mm -hmm. bigger than that last there one. There we go. He's a nice, pretty large mug. He is. So this next piece can be a picture. Dayton, Deborah. Good morning. Good morning. I have no idea if I pronounced your name right or not. Feel free to, you know, type in a phonetic version yeah. of your name if we bangle it too oh, bad. A, a thumbs up. Maybe I did. Yay. <laughs> there we go. So. Hopefully that picture that piece is the right size for the picture. So that, as compared to some of the earlier pieces which were the 26 ounces of clay. This one is 51 ounces. Okay, someone wants a picture with a squashed fairy on the bottom. Just working our way through the stack of requests. Mm -hmm. 
so you know that you don't see much in the way of bubbles. It's a little bit more sun. It's about 95% there. And what happens if you try to open it up before it's You'll finished. get a wide, you know, one side of the wall will be thick and the other part will be thin. You don't want that. See, that's, see if we do that. See, that's not centered. See what it is. I have to just. Center. Uh, Brittany asks, what type of clay is this? It's stone rock. Yeah, it's a co it's formulated for code five. Actually, this one's formulated is a this, little bit higher, part? but they don't recommend firing it higher than cone seven. Yeah, because at cone like eight or nine, it starts warping really, really bad. It'll get more porcelainous. Yeah, its temperature of destruction is much higher. Yeah. But it is fully in the stoneware classification it's of right smack for us in the middle. The stoneware classification for porosity is between five and eleven percent. Do you remember correctly? I have to look back up. I have to look at it. But it's like finish right it up on our website. Yeah, but it, this one lands right smack dab in the middle of stoneware. We do use other clays that class as porcelainous at Code 5. Oddly enough, we have a porcelain that is formulated for Code 5. Yes, our black clay is formulated for Code 4. Yeah, you can push it a little higher, but you're really starting to risk things. We tend to fire it at Code 5. That gets it that really nice black. At the, the bottom of the load, it could cough. Because, yes, you can not um, vary the precise temperature in the arm um, of what a particular piece gets fired at by where you place it in the gym. Because obviously the top of the gym could be much James warmer Good than the bottom of the gym. This particular piece is going to be thicker, in which case, as it develops, if it develops an uneven rim, you're just going to utilize that, right? Yeah. Because as you pull up the sides of the walls like this with each pass, if there is an unevenness anywhere, it'll come up out the top. So if you see it has just a little bit, not so much. On this Some piece. pieces are a lot more pronounced. This one's um, being very cooperative. <laughs> well, it's nice that that piece is being friendly. Yeah. And here we go. You see how it's. As I pull the, you know, color it in right here. The material has to go somewhere, so a lot of times it'll how it's developing a high side and a low side. So you want the picture, you want it to come in some. Each one is sort of cold. Oh, yeah. damn thing! There's dust in my foot pedal. Which I don't know how it's gotten clay dust in it, really. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I have marked what is the highest spot. There's, I marked what the highest spot was. Now what I'm going to do is go like this. I love this. I can never get my clay centered. It's so amazing to watch you work. Thank you. A lot of it has to do with muscle memory, practice, and finding the clay that you uh, work well with the best. And, and sometimes that's why it's it called a pull spout. She's literally pulling it into shape. Yeah. Okay, now those next four pieces all get to be mugs. <laughs> I never stick like my nose this morning. And a little bit of you to like 
pollen and stuff in the air is not healthy. <laughs> there. Stay back there, hair. <laughs> the hazards of curly hair. Hello. Good morning, Jessica. So you have four, um, like, 16-ounce mugs to do there. 12 okay. to 16, so if they're a little on the small side, they just go for um, other things. And Yoko says, gorgeous. Thank you. Smaller piece. And Are you more. going to shape any of the black clay today? Uh, well, I'm probably just going to work with the bag of. Um, well, if I have any more umph left in me after I finish this, maybe we can. Yeah. See how your muscles are feeling? Yeah. You do so have to make sure that I don't. Yeah, over. Don't, don't throw your elbow out again. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, so so excited to have connected with you. Oh, thank you. Also makes the throwing much more interesting when there's other people to talk to. Yeah. Answer questions. Um, yeah. Okay, so that smallish piece behind the um, lug size pieces there is to be for a eight to ten inch ounce goblet. Oh, okay. So you've got oh, Jordan Peterson. Good morning. Hello. How does the process how does the pro how does the process after this work until the finished product? So after these pieces are thrown on the wheel, some actually the majority of the ones today are going to be set aside to be dried very carefully to the point where we can get squashed fairies carved onto the bottoms of most of these. After that, the pieces then get the candles mm -hmm. applied. But then they have to dry and in a controlled to, manner. Yeah, they dry in a controlled manner and actually here, that can do is grab the camera. And yes, that's a small kiln out there on the deck. There's the camera. There's the setup on the computer. <laughs> and you can see those dark pieces on the shelf over there are actually ones that are in the process of drying. Now I will swing this dance, back down this way. And then, then into the garage the, where our large kiln is, um, or drying racks, is generally drier and more um, stable temperature-wise. Yeah, because, well, it's got a proper building around it versus this space, which is an improved deck, basically. Yeah, it's a deck with windows. And some minor insulation on the ceiling. Yeah. After the after we're sure the pieces are all the way dried, the building for a first fire, which is also known as a fist fire, which is lower temperature fire. It's only yeah, about it, 17 to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's where you get the it goes through quartz inversion. It goes from being mud to being stone. Because until the first firing, if something were to happen, like say the, the cat knocks a piece over and breaks it. Which is a thing that happens sometimes, but if it's still greenware before the first firing, the piece can be thrown back into a scrap bucket. It can be wetted back down and made back into useful clay. After it's gone through that first firing, it is now ceramic material and will never go back down to being wet clay. Yeah, your water is not looking very watery now. My water's kind of chunky and only about one knuckle deep. Rest yeah. of it slipped. Oh, do we, do we need a bucket to put that scrap into? Yeah, do we have oh, one? Here we go. Oh, big one. There we go. Actually, no. The, this one's too big for that. Oh, well, how about the scooper? Nah, Just using the hands. Dirty. Yes, this is what happens with old yogurt containers. They get filled up and with the... And this is where the oh, slip to attach handles and stuff comes from. It's That's why the, different have the three different buckets. Yes. Yep. White, red, and brown. Three buckets here. And well, yeah, the buckets are also uh, recycled materials. They're old, um, 
for a while, the Costco dishwasher packets were coming in these nice little square buckets. Mm -hmm. So we kept them. Hands. Oh, they stopped having them in those nice buckets uh, several years ago now. Which was sad. We liked those buckets. I uh, will set this someplace for it to dry out some. And this is get yeah. the. That's what's known as slip. Or how it you know covers the skin. It's slippery. Okay. Where did you learn how to do all this the first time you did it? I was in middle school. I was in the seventh grade the first time I took a um, ceramics class. I was lucky that I went to school in the time where... And during the arts and crafts era. Yeah. Lisa, lucky. I graduated high school in 1981. So, yes, back when they had proper art classes. And then I went... And then, um, it was about 15 years ago, I graduated, finally graduated with my four-year degree. Fourteen years. Fourteen years. Actually, yes. Yeah, it was in 2000. As of, May, as of May, it will be exactly 14 years. Yeah. It only took me 20 years to get my two-year degree. <laughs> but you got the uh, on the four years in shorter order. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to need more water now. Yeah, as you notice, there is steam rain. Uh, my um, degree is in art education and art studio. We so, both yeah. have education degrees. With a minor in art history. <laughs> because, you know, I have to do... Because history is fun. Yeah. Is, but is slip drying on your skin? Does it dry out your skin? No, not really. My skin's dry to begin with, for one thing. But also what it does is it draws all the toxins and irritants out of my skin. You actually get rashes when you don't do throwing, don't yeah. you? Yeah. It was after we'd moved last spring. It's going to be coming up on a year and not too long. Yeah. April 10th will yeah. be the anniversary of the move. Yeah. Um, I started getting... Because we've gone over thinking. a month with no throwing. Yeah. We should have packed up a little bit of clay to one side for you to smear on your hands. So it's one of those things. Is if, you have these, if you have horrible rashes on your hands, you can get clay. Do this. And it doesn't have to be the, the fancy French clay. It could be just any kind of clay. A bag of potter's clay. It would be cheaper. Oh, so much. Because a bag of potter's clay, if you're getting, you know, you're not your expensive varieties, you're just basic clay, you can be a uh, six, eight dollars for the 25 pound bag. I don't and know. We, we buy it by the ton. I don't know how much it is by the bag anymore. No. We, we do not operate in that um, scale. But yeah, if you let it dry on your skin, like say if you had poison oak, poison ivy, this It'll would be really good. It'll of the ivy oils off. Yeah. It'll suck the oil right out of your skin. See, I'm also allergic to detergents. So. They'll give you rashes. They give me rashes. I grew up in the 70s during the era of synthetic How often everything. How you have to clean out that sump around the wheel? Um, it depends on how much she's throwing right it now. Needs, it's once every two to anywhere from a month to three months. Recently, it's been a month. Also, this time of year, it just doesn't dry. Because if you look at how deep my fingers are leaving grooves in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it really needed cleaning. There's it's also because the water has... It's oh. traded a dam. Oh dear. And um, I haven't really said anything because I know the um here. I, was I know this thing cold, but yeah. No, because I don't want to get clay inside yeah. that. Okay. This is enough right now though. Okay. Oh, right yeah. now I have space in the there is a well. There there's the water is drains through. Yeah. Sometimes. So there's little buckets that go under the wheel. And sometimes they fill up without me noticing, and the st water starts running all over the floor. And then I'm kind of, there's much oops. But there's also a bucket, it's what, a five gallon bucket? Yeah. For goop. This is Ace Hardware. Oh, is that or where this one's on. from? Well, it's I like this bucket for a long time. Yeah. 
that's still a usable play. Okay, I'll probably go towards either dice or, well, sculpting the fairies themselves, sorry. There, now there's more space in your, um, real head. Yeah. yeah. And now I'll get a towel to wipe my hand. Yeah, here. It's more or less just kind of scraping the clay off of the hand. The one thing that's missing out here is like a sink. We do have a use utility um, sink out on the deck, just mm -hmm. outside. But we've got to. We still have to yeah. hook up a hose that goes up to the um, sink, and so it has like a faucet control there, rather than having to reach under the sink and turn the faucet on, use the sprayer, reach down, turn it back off. Also not terribly pleasant this time of year because it's cold. Well, it's only ever going to have cold water because it's Where fun. Where it? I know that <laughs> you will walk most sinks. Um, you don't dump it down your no, sink. You oh don't. my god, you never do that. No. It'll, it'll it'll ruin your pipes. It will actually completely stop up your, your pipes. When I was in high school, they made the mistake of doing that. They had to rip out several feet of pipe. Is the, so the art department and the other um, department that shared that building, which was Home Ec, oh, goodness. was out water was without water and electricity for like three months. Oh, gee, the coldest three months of the year too. <laughs> so no, you never do that. The, what the, we used to do before we moved, we we kind of lived in a rural area that we would fill in holes with the um we did. We filled in, filled in old gopher holes. There had been dogs at the house prior to us having it, so there was all these strange divots in the dirt. We filled that with clay. There was also that um, what appeared to be the foundations of an old um, shed. shed behind our well house. We filled that with clay. Because I said kind of lived in a rural okay, area. Okay, so that piece, 8 to 10 ounce goblet. Okay, and then... Well, now is we have an agreement with another putter. They will take our scrap clay. <laughs> because yes, you can get a um a pug mill, pug which mill. is a specialized piece of equipment that yeah. takes that used kind of scrap. A used one is five k. Yeah, you can either get it. You can either get a car or a pug mill. Yeah, so, so that kind of price. Yeah, Bob, Don, Victoria, and Jenny. Good morning. Shane have another question there? I think it's still just me. Because it had a little red. Yeah, we answered that. Oh, okay, good. But yeah, goblet. And we don't live someplace where we can bury the clay in the yard anymore. No. Because, well, the the ground was kind of hard there anyway, so yeah, it wasn't. It was viler. Carry bucket with you and use it to fill potholes in the streets you travel. You don't want it to fill potholes. <laughs> you want it to the hard the, way. There it, uh, therein lies the story. Well, I mentioned we lived in a r rural area. Real rural. Um, all that was the mail truck because our we, there, mailbox was, was up the street. It was a street with no sidewalks. No yeah, pavement no out off of the edges. It was a two-lane road with no. No shoulder. No shoulder. So the shoulder was in your yard. Your property line went right up to the edge. So. And the mail truck had this habit of when they pulled off, they, they delivered the mail and they gun. They basically gun it to they, get they back out, out of the gravel. So they were digging a hole in our yard. So get this um, message from the postmaster. Robert. Well, yeah. No, it's straight. Yes. But, yeah. And so... About how it was our, our response. Oh, like, if we wanted to get it. mail, we had to make it easy for them to do because we were ruining their shops. And I go, no, if the um, individual didn't gun it out of there, he wouldn't be um, endangering his shops. So, and I go, okay, so what is it that would you fill it in with? He goes, fill it with, with anything. anything. So, at that point, we had, you know, the fridge, red plastic garbage cans, stand by gay tall. Well, yeah, we had about two of those full, full of 
dry scrap clay. <laughs> <laughs> So, and we had some wasters we, we, that had been yeah, sitting around for years. Wasters, exploded pieces. Yeah, failed pieces failed of pottery. Pieces. So we dragged those um, garbage cans out, dumped it in, kind of treadled it um, flat-ish with our feet, added some, I think, some yard clippings, some like branches and things. Basically, and tan water bark. and daub and tan, tan bark. bark. The problem was, is the very next that night, very that night, very night we had gotten it into rain. So all that lovely hard dry clay <laughs> then became a puddle of quagmire. <laughs> for the next for the next year. Actually he came. We actually had the postmaster come to our door. He inspected, he goes, Well, you did exactly you did. what I said. They're just gonna have to deal with it now. You could tell whenever the mail truck had come. By the clay stripe from his wheels going back down up and off the roof. It was like that for the next year. At that point, they managed to dig right back down to the bottom again. And now they had ruts rather than just a divot. And at that point, we treadled it back flat again, added some more stuff, a piece of tarp. Old ground tarp from, um, and then we got some gravel, and then got the crushed Cr rock, crushed rock. There was also a local gravel, um, a quarry local quarry that we were able to order it from. They came along and they went, "Well, where do you want it?" We pointed to where the tarp was and dumped it there. And so they put it there, and even they were nice enough to spread it out for us too. Spread it out a bit. Oh yeah. no, they dumped it in a spread line. Yeah, which was more than we expected. Yeah, we would. So this is why you wouldn't use it to um, fix potholes in the road. Yeah. That was also an area that did have the boot heel method of We watched them. We watched them actually with a um, a bucket of asphalt, pour it into a pothole in the road, bucket. and tamp it Shovel. down with the boot heel. Yeah. We don't live there anymore. Nope. They also never told you when they were going to close the road for um, for repairs. For yeah. repairs, you could come out your front door and find out that there there's is no a... leaving your house right now. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, you got the story. Why you wouldn't want to use that for road repairs? But in terms. Um, getting back to an earlier question is after the pieces have gone through the first firing, that's when they come into the house and they get decorated. If the if the piece is going to have additional um, surface decoration, like drawings and things of that nature, that's done after the first firing. Oh. Yes. There we go. One dollar shape. The camera's aiming slightly more than one side. Yes. Than yeah. Uh, you go here. I'm used to separating the bowls and other items that don't have handles from things that are going to have handle handles, but all of these get treated the oh, same way right now. It looked like it was further off the edge that was when no, I first looked at it. Okay, so two more mugs. Mugs. Mug, 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 mug. Very good afternoon. And morning three. still, huh? No, still morning. Yes, it's still morning for another 40, another 39 minutes. Touch that that screen right now. I can get some of these wave things. <laughs> there we go. Well, my hands have to be clean enough to be able to touch them. Okay. I forgot about the quarantine while well, I've been watching this. How that was affecting you all? Um, we no events. No events. No events. We are right now 100% um, reliant on orders off the website. Right. Yeah. Normally, we'd be, if this would be getting into our busy season traveling, we'd be gone most weekends to um, go to events to sell the property. And so far, at last news, we have lost seven events. events. Yeah, no events until the end of June. Yeah, beginning of July. Yeah, at best at, at this best. point. 
And the thing is, is there's one at the right at the beginning of July that she was actually going to be running this year. Yeah. So Fine. she's it's the, that extra added stress as to whether or not that is going to happen or whether she's going to have to start calling up the service people going no event. Yeah. But other than that, we work from the house. We work from the house. We're leaving the house very little right now. Spending very little on gas. Was a week ago that we went to the store to get a few staples. Yeah. And we're planning that next time we need supplies, we may try the, you know, pick it up at the curb kind of the, thing, What Fred Myers does. Which Fred Myers does, which is one of the three local grocery stores. Yeah. Either that or their Safeways delivery services. And... Walmart has a delivery service too. We don't have a Walmart counter. Yes, we do. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah, because it's over there by the not mall. Well, it's still a mall. It's just not very lively. It has maybe a half a dozen stores. Yeah. Okay. How do you know how many ounces a cup is? is. If you're experiencing that, you probably just know, but for newbies, maybe. Um, what we did when mm. we were first yes. starting out. We'd measure how much a piece of clay weighs, which we still do, which is how we tell how much clay we're using for any given piece. And then um, we measured the then you have, it, It's not an instant thing. No, you. I kept a, basically a small database. We, did, we kept it, that up for like the first two years. Three or four. I was the one doing the data entry. Yeah. After that, I just gave up because it was no. It was all it was all hard coded, and there was no. Part of it is we know how. Um, after you've made a couple of pieces, pieces, you wait for them to dry. You fire them, you glaze them, you fire them again, and then you can measure how, how much, much they water. hold. You have to keep track of all the data points along the way. Yes, that is what we did. It's that's why. To a certain degree, it's practice. It's and how how heavy a piece do you throw? It got to the point is okay. When she first, when we first started tracking how much clay she used for throwing an individual piece, a sixteen ounce cylinder, roughly uh, um, six inches high, kind of like the size that she's throwing now, used to take forty ounces of clay. Well, you now, have a lot more waste. You, you have, have the trimming and waste. the this and the that. But she has got she's leveled up, as it were, a couple of times, and she uses now 26 ounces of clay for the same size piece. For the same 16 ounce vessel. And a lot of it is, well, practice. But yeah, keep, you know, keep a log. Yeah. You don't have to have a database. No. That was really silly. That was way over the top for what we actually needed. It was supposed. It was a database tracking all the different specs for the individual pieces, their dimensions, and photograph how much. Eh. It was way over the top. It was basically an over-involved inventory system. But yeah, you know, what chunk of that? Um, yeah. Here, let me. I was going to say throw it in the garbage for you. Because yes, uh, sometimes the mason and that start breaking down. And that is a piece of one of them. Hello, Andrea. Hello. But yeah, what did in a um, couple of the classes at Cal State he worked? So it was a long time ago. Is we we had to keep a log. Yeah. What pieces we what pieces we made? You know, how much clay did you use? Is a good idea because if you weigh your clay out you can have more consistent results. And also, a, a good thing for beginning potters, do you know how what will um, improve your skills faster than anything else? And it's kind of boring. Throw, uh, throw 100 cylinders. Pick size of clay that you want to do, throw 100 of them. This will help develop the muscle memory. I'm gonna, this one so, I need to email for verification in terms of what shapes the squash variable goes on to. But 
I was going to make a note on it with a pencil. Can't write off it. The kitten hid my pencil. So I'll just Choose. put this in the pocket of my thing once we're done throwing the pieces for it. Okay. Also, this one called, this is, this is the size of the order. Two beakers, two bowls. Hey, we're going to need the other bowl anyways. Figured we would. We'll need more bowls. Oh, yes. I don't trust that bowl. Plates. We may have the plates already inside. Except for plates. Matt and Robert Washington. Oh, no. Good morning. How you guys doing? Doing anything interesting? Got any interesting projects going on? We're watching people on uh, these screens of what they're doing, like Will with uh, doing his painting, playing his drums, and, and seeing photographs of people doing their uh, knitting and crocheting. Yeah. And there's string arts that we just, we don't have the skills for ourselves. I can, I can make string. And you can embroider with it. I can Doing embroider. basic embroidery. And like, couching it in pretty patterns. Yeah, I'm not saying that I know a lot of embroidery stitches. I, I remember maybe three. I don't know if someone shows me how to do one. I might learn another one. But if I don't For keep using it. Months. Yeah, yeah, before. Oh, wow. Sun came out oh, and, and a dream. Boring. That's a very clary. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm putting you off two pieces for beakers. I'll we'll probably turn off the heater at this point. Okay, yeah, I will do that in just a second. Just making sure it's gotten up to 63 in here. Yeah. There we, go. we have started 20 gallons of mead in the past That's couple weeks. That's a project for Cool. Making wine and mead is fun. It is fun. We used to make wine. We got rid of all of our winemaking stuff before we moved because we it, it just away. yeah because it was just taking up a lot of space and we hadn't made any for a while. And we figure if we ever wanted to make more, we'll restock the equipment. Yeah, we still have my like the corker, but we rehomed the big glass cartwheels. Well, the reason why we didn't do a lot of winemaking while we lived there was we were on well. And we had high iron water, so the wine we made had a metallic taste. It, to it. was not pleasant. Yeah, it had. It, it tasted like, like you water. brewed it in a metal container. Yeah. I love the smell of its brewing in the kitchen. Yeah, we've got the giant uh, pot because yeah. you can see the honey yeah. in the water. Yeah. Or the times that we made our meat wine. Yeah, huh. that made a big and rather. Relatively pleasant smell in the house. Yeah, it did. Because it's basically fermented mint tea. Yeah. And where do we get the recipe for that? The Alaskan Bootlegger's Bible. It was the book on the display with the brewing equipment at a health food store. Well, that's what we, what we had, was it like over 100 pounds of grapes? 120 pounds of grapes within two months of moving into that particular house. Yeah. We didn't realize that A, there were that many grape vines, B, there had that many grapes because they were green grapes. Hmm. Stephanie. Stephanie. Yeah. Okay. It's just a different spelling. Hello. Okay. So. Those two are beakers. These ones are beakers. Okay. Those ones are beakers. Just standard size beakers. Yes. Glory watching. Hello. Hello. Got warm enough, I took my uh, hug over shirt off. Yeah. Something I can do, but not so much you. Yeah. This so when we first came out here, it was still quite cold. <laughs> The reason why I keep walking back and forth is I'm not only taking her pieces of clay, I'm also going through and cutting off pieces of clay for specific orders, which is the reason why I also keep calling off what shape she needs to throw next.
I'm going to be cutting you off a couple of uh, a couple more bowl size pieces. But these bowls will actually get um, designs on the inside. They're going to get good pelicans. Okay. Actually, this says. I don't know whether or not I have bowls for this inside or not because it says that the squash berries are added to the drinking vessels. Yeah, one, two, three. Yes. You need to have mug sizes. There we go. Beakers. But yes, beakers right now. Yes, two beakers. How did you make the little fairies you squash? I actually sculpted the individual limbs and put them on but yeah, sculpt them as separate pieces and then add them to the bottom. Let's see, there we go. See so if we can get the lighting to show off this one here. So they're sculpted to fit the bottom of the individual cups. And those, that last piece there is one that we threw the other day. It's been drying for a couple of days. It's, it feels 75 to 80% dry. Yeah. But yeah, after I get them sculpted, sculpted so they just protrude just an ever so slight amount above the um, the concave surface of the bottom of the cup. I then take the cup, turn it upside right, and that's what gives it that extra little bit of squashed look. Yeah. It will compress butt cheeks on some of them. One, one. And that will be another beaker. Getting it all even in shape and rounded before I start centering it, because that way it, make, it takes less. Put it this way, we're definitely going to run out of clay before we run out of stack. Well, that's good. Well, not all of it's the clay. Well, I guess that's the way we're designing it. Yeah, that's the stack chair. Just for this color. Yes, yeah, so we're going to start with the bottom of the cup. Okay. Okay. I'm going to need to, I'll, I'll get another bag of spray moistening because some of the, this, the end of this color of clay seems to get be getting on the firm side. Yeah, I might say the clay is getting stale. Yeah, kind of. Because, well, clay is much more wearing to throw when it's hard. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to need... Two bowl sized pieces. And you know, in the next couple months we're gonna need to find clay though. Yeah, we are. Which will probably make our clay distributor happy. As if they're still open. Oh, uh, let's hope they yeah. are. They're in Tacoma. Yeah. That's one of the restricted counties. Yeah, Pierce County. Yeah. Well, we may want to call them up sooner than rather than later then. Yeah. Okay. Two bowl size pieces. So the two pieces touching one another are bowls. The one behind that is a mug. Inside. Do you want to throw more plates or do you want to just keep going with these things? Probably. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure it would be enough here for two plates. Yeah, we can just keep going with the cups. Yes. Stick with the same shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go. There. Great. Hmm. So cool. Thank you. Can you call an order for curbside delivery? The with the clay we call and the truck comes and delivers the two tons. He would probably just deliver it to the driveway now. Yeah. We never know. We could well oh, we could open the garage door. Well you could just deliver it to the driveway. Yeah. 
be easier for them too. Our delivery well. guy's really nice. Yeah, we'll move. We'll um prior to the delivery window, move the car out of the driveway so you can yeah. get the truck in as close to the house as possible. Yeah. Well, he was just the, the hand truck for there. So. Yeah. But yeah, the when we talk about getting an order of play, we <laughs> it involves the delivery truck because our SUV doesn't have that kind of weight limit. No, no. You put eleven hundred pounds into it and it's like driving a brick. And Did that we generally, once. When we talk about ordering two tons of clay, it's not a euphemism. So that would be a book. Yeah. Because it's getting to the time of year where we're going to need one. It's clay delivery time. It costs $60. For delivery. It's so much cheaper than what's well if we were delivery. used to paying like three hundred or more for delivery. And now it's kinda of like it's great. Yeah. We are very thankful for having only sixty bucks for delivery charges now. Yeah. This is so many mothernesses. You know that yeah. it rained and the sun came out. Now you have steam coming off all the leaves. Yeah. As has the waters of Africa. Yeah. How much place? A little piece left. You need our pickup with the 15K compare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then people go, why aren't you moving that well on the road? Uh yeah. Well, it's also real freeways up here too. Yes. Once you get moving, it's great. <laughs> it's you know the change of speed once you're hauling that much weight. Oh, I know. Not friendly. Our twenty-year-old SUV. Yeah. Twenty-one. 21. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a nineteen ninety-nine Yukon. With nearly 300,000 miles on it now. And this is what? Another mug? Yes. All of a sudden I realized I have a tall cylinder here. <laughs> yes, it's another mug. The hands keep going and the brain is off doing something else sometimes, you know? Because that's muscle memory at work. Bottom corner of the bag. Do I have a piece of this? No, I think that that's just. Well, you know what? This last 10 ounces, I'm going to save aside for sculpting fairy dust. There you go. Because I'm like, do I have anything that would be the right size for that? No. Yes, yeah. So I'm going to get all orders get priority that. right now. Not making all the open stuff. Nope. Oh, if they even carry that much weight at 85 miles per hour. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of inertia. Yeah. That sounds kind of like what Brady has. Yeah. With his big wood trailer there. Wood coated trailer. 
Does he talk about his entire rate weighing like 8,000 or 10,000 pounds? And he said, and it was some gargantuan amount of mass. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Yukon weighs 3,800 empty? I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, so at this point, I'll have to just start moving things up onto the shelf. And I could actually start. We get weight in our car and we do about 50, 55. Yeah. Unless we're going downhill. <laughs> Blake's downhill. The brakes don't like downhill. No. That always worries me. Yeah. Used to pull his combine planter and harvester instead of a tractor. Wow. Okay. And um, my car, car SUV, has a tow limit of 5,000 pounds. Which is the reason why we got the trailer we did. So we did. It has a single axle. Which, yeah, doesn't have that Because if we got a double weight. axle trailer, we'd be, um, the trailer would have greater weight capacity than the vehicle would allow for. Mm, wouldn't be good for the car. The trailer was got to match the vehicle. Yeah. And there are times we've loaded everything to the capacity. Like when we moved. Yeah, the vehicle was not happy. Going over the Siskiyous. My car does not like the Siskiyous. No. Even when not particularly loaded, it's just That's not nice. happy with that mountain pass. Okay, I'm gonna go wash the excess leg colored clay off my hands before I start sculpting fairies on red and black clay. Okay. Really? Yeah, it just. <laughs> Chaos. Added 20 ton RV. Wow. That's a lot away. Oh, we've got the Yukon used in 2007. Before that, I'd always driven cars. So I always still refer to it as it's my car. People go, Well, what kind of car do you have? You can't think of that's not a car, that's a truck. Now, technically, it's an SUV, not a truck. But yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, well, there's another sink in here. There's there's actually a proper working, even warm water sink not far away. Yeah, it's cold inside. Yeah. <laughs> in the garage. Yeah. Because we're four, four, six. Well, this seven, house had a. A lot of updating. It, it was, was built in 55. It was built in 55. It looked like the last time it had been seriously uh, updated was in the 80s. So, yeah. Somebody had turned the garage into a workshop, which is yep. nice, which is one of the things that endeared us to it. Yes. The fact that we like doing um, small um, home improvement projects, which we can't do right now. But nope. The um, uncertainty. The uncertainty factor if we can't finish the bath when we started. No, we yeah. we had you know taken out the mirror and the cabinet. Luckily we hadn't taken the sink out yet. Which yeah, was that was gonna be like last week we were gonna start in on that. Yeah. We had it they had a twenty ton RV there. Yeah. I thought the dream was pulling a load, but like a buckboard one no load. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like oh, we have the augmented shocks in the back of ours. The, the airbag shocks. The airbag shocks. And then they go, no, it's fine. If I put any more air in it, it'll be like driving a truck. And I go, yes, yes. please. You know, being relatively small people, I had to convince them that no, it needed more air because I took a lot of weight. Pottery. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that, well, I know just how much clay I can comfortably tow into that car. It kind of hit, it's hitting its limit at 1,100 pounds. Plus the two of us. Plus the two of us. Neither of us weigh that much. Yeah. Uh, for each only five foot tall. Yeah. But also we weren't driving on I-5 at that point. It might not have been so bad. We're on 101 of the coast of California. Which is not the best of roads. It's very scenic. Not it's very, the best of roads. Are pretty, the trees are pretty. The trees are a little close to the road. In some places uh, buckling the road. Yeah. That's why it costs so much to get anything delivered. Yeah. Oh, this piece had a lumpy bit in it. Oh, yeah, all of these. I have no idea when the lumpy bit got oh, in there. Yeah. It happens sometimes. Well, those are all bowl pieces left, I do believe. Those are bowls? Yes. I take it that piece is not a bowl. Well, it can be. <laughs> what? <coughs> there, how's that? I need to fall through. Probably just as well because it's. Uh, it's yeah. I was thinking, you know, it's not a bad thing that you're turning. If it's got a lumpy bit, it's being turned into a bowl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There seems to be an, almost a score mark in it right here. Huh. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Funky spot in the clay. Yeah. What I do with that is. Watch this. There. I'm pretty sure this is your water. That one's mine. Because I, I don't just finish mine off. Yeah, it's got some funkiness to it. Well, as I said, that's pretty old. wants to know what brand, brand of wheel to look for. This one's a Bailey? It's a Bailey. And see, another good one is a Shimpo. Yeah, Shimpo is one of the really big brands. Bailey is probably a uh, rebranded Brent. Brent. Brent, Brent would be another good one. Trying to think of the different brands that are known brands that are good. Yeah. And if you're looking for more of the um, kick wheel, kick wheel, go with a Lockerbie. Lockerbies are bonkers. Oh Almost yeah. Almost literally. They're extremely durable, and you can you can motorize a Lockerbie kick wheel. Yeah, because I have a motorized Lockerbie kick wheel. I remember you said to get a reversible one because I'm right-handed and the sun is a left-hander. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. This one, this one is what the Bailey 50 R. 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 R, R for reversible. Basically, there's a cord that you unplug and then turn it over and plug back in. It reverses the polarity. Yes. And it's and belt driven. Yes. And it seems to have been lasting pretty darn well. Yeah. This one is far from new. What? Oh, warm. <laughs> you would you like me to put this over here? Because it's all certain. Oh, I'm getting warm now. <laughs> Ah. Well, good afternoon. Okay. Three more. And are you going to be uh, um, in a state throw war? Have um, any in here. Ah, yes. We have a small thing of the black. black uh, I could black do pieces. some of those. 
Okay. Just get that done with. And that will finish off that easy back. Yeah, which is always a good thing. Some of the pieces may have one pitch marks in it. Because of I've been using clay out of that bag for doing very Which, when we're done growing, I can just move the, uh, um, if people are interested in watching handles be attached and, you know, that leg is too big. Um, various being sculpted and adhered. Esther, good afternoon. We can move the, uh, um, the close cam. Yeah. have it set up so that it can see the tabletop. Because yes, if you uh, notice, and nope, it's sitting outside a shot this time. Sometimes the, uh, um, the little corner cam is angled in such a way that you can see the webcam um, being held to the tripod mm -hmm. with a hair tie. And that's what's the, the camera that's the large part of the screen. Um. Oh. Mm. Nice mm. I dropped the piece of clay I was shaping for at the head of the fairy. I didn't like that when I said that that one time. We were making skulls, and it almost got away off the edge of the table. Well, heads for roll. It's like, no! Mm. There's a big difference between a little pea-sized portion of clay. <laughs> but it doesn't matter if it goes flat, because I'm going to be making it into a hemisphere anyways. <laughs> and, a, and a sculpted skull that we've just spent the last half hour making. Do I need to move things around there for you? Yeah, I got it out of the way. Okay. And we're going to try to get things set up for the lessons this spring, too. Yeah. Which one are we going to do now? No. Obviously. Oddly enough, we're not going to be inviting people over to what program do you use for streaming? I'm using OBS, which is a piece of free software, and it allows you to um, go through and add things. You can have multiple cameras set up because the two images, one's um, one webcam, one's another. Neither webcam costs us more than 20 bucks. One of the two webcams is over 10 years old. Is over 15 years old. Um, then I. Uh, I do graphics myself, which is how I got the graphics in the right direction. The line of graphics in through there and the image down there, I made those and you can add those in as elements. That one's obviously got an opaque background, whereas that one over there is um got a transparent background. I think it's a PNG. Yes. And then I use um a service online called Restream.io, which allows us to go and present this content to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch all at the same time. And that is also free. And that is also a free thing. So, other, other than the fact that you're going to need a machine that's got a pretty good um, graphics card in it. You need a graphics card, you need hard drive space because, well, video files if you have it set to record. Yeah, there's the piece I want. Because if you uh, look at some of her, watch some of her older oh, videos. The video quality and some of her older ones. Oh, we looked at one of those the other day. Oh. But also, it was in a much smaller room. It was in a much smaller room. The audio quality 
was not as good. The thing is, is it was still his, it was the same equipment, different computer attached, but it was the same video, the same webcams, the same software. Yeah. Which was kind the of reason, interesting. The only reason we don't use that computer for doing streaming from anymore isn't because there was anything wrong with the machine. It's that's my personal desktop and it's inside on my desk. And once we moved, we had space enough. Then we realized, oh, oh, we'll just use my laptop. It was making my laptop overheat. Yeah. Laptops don't get along with streaming. That's a that's a tip right there. Yeah. Because they just don't. Yeah. And also the uh, video quality was awful. Yeah. It was like a slideshow. Sound was fine. Sound was fine, but it was frame it was minutes per frame. It was a slideshow with audio accompaniment. And that was no fun. Yeah. And then again, maybe I will be done after this last one. Because be fine, muscles. I'll be fine. And all of a sudden the muscles are going, nope. Eh. Your your muscles are noping? My muscle. Yeah. So I'll get to doing handles. Okay. Uh yeah, this is a really good bit here. Let's see how this works. Yeah, that was the bottom most corner. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> And then, if it's too soft, you can't throw it either. Well, you could throw it, but you can't. You can mop it across the room quite well. Because it just kind of sloughs off. Yeah. Sticks to the hands more than to what you're trying to throw on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what are the tools I can use? Oh. Oh. And when you're done there, I have to be careful uh, not to. Her, her machine is mid. Oh, then so great. my Asus gaming with Nvidia is with webcam should work. My mine is meant for streaming. Yes, that should then, be just fine. Yeah, then you shouldn't have any problems. And like some some streamers, they have a separate mic. We don't have a separate mic for this. We have it's just utilizing the mic on the webcam that's closer to her because it's the newer webcam. It's got better sound. Also has more pixels in the picture. It's actually HD. It's 720, I do believe, versus yeah. the, the little one that we use up for the corner. We're using whites. Being used for the small picture is because it's got very few pixels. I think it might be like one, one, like the 240, 240 or something of it's that. It's not great. It's 15 years old. And you can you can up with the audio settings and balance different things and add music if you want. But you want to make sure that if you do use music, that you use um royalty free music. Otherwise, some platforms will mute your video. And maybe don't that. We have not learned that from personal experience. We learned that because we also watch other streamers. And we not heard that happen, as it were. Heard them complaining about how it happened to them once. Oh, there was a few videos that we watched that all of a sudden the audio cut out. We thought it was a machine. Until we read the um, streaming comments. And then it was a case of, ah, that's <laughs> not us. Okay. Oh. Enough of that, yeah. Because I have to be careful I don't throw too much. It. Because I, I have actually pulled muscles by throwing too much. So, yeah, when I do large pieces, I will also um, sometimes you know, give myself sore muscles. So I've had to learn to not do too much. Cheryl, good day. No, and I will now. Oh, I have a steam mic. Cool. No. My brother has a good mic on his PC because he did a lot of um, online gaming and he did a little bit of streaming, but it wasn't good for his anxiety. 
he started having anxiety. Okay, and apologies for the moving camera. I am taking it and like she said it was weird. Time. Mom, why are you you know, in favor of me doing this? It's weird. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Rearrange this so it stays on the table. Good. Oh, yes. Now reach upwards. There we go. And now I will take off this holder short. There. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can add it to the pile of clothing, and oh, you're probably going to want your chair back. Yes. This is her chair. There we go. Around. Oh, my back. Because <laughs> okay. often I won't notice the muscles are tired. I'm sure you stop. stop. Yes. So these are the ones that are ready to have their hands off of it. Oh, okay. Just shove that plastic over there. Yeah, I'm not quite done with this one. We'll be soon. Okay, not yet. Just need handles. So those ones just need handles. Some of them are fairy, some of them are not. There we go. Um, yeah, they're in a bag. I think they're in the... No, those are the red ones. I think the red. black ones are in the drawer. Okay. Amazing. The black handles were in the drawer that was marked black. It's like I reorganized them or something so they were appropriately labeled again. <laughs> Yeah. Turn the tool over. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this guy is um slipped and scored on. And the year. Don't forget the year. We try to always put the year on pieces because nothing else. We like seeing um, when people come by and we and they've got some of our older pieces. Like, oh goodness, what year is that piece from? And then there's times where we're absolutely glorified because, well, you improve with practice. Well, little fairy toes, which also here's the ends of the feet. Being smaller handle than a big Yeah. It's a nice looking handle. There we go. This guy's done. So she just goes right yeah. over here. Oh, what I could do is go through um, forms and see if there were any um, red ones to be not handled. Here. That's what you said you were going to do. Yes. That. Here. No. These ones. Those ones are like the shell. I think it would be the black ones. I think there was a handleless. The, compress the handle. One tank cup. Okay, I will do this one. This is how all the stuff gets. I'm going to need multiple colors of clay to do this one. Because it's going to be a tan fairy with red hair. Cool. Uh, 
let's see if I can get this cup off a freaking bat. Ooh, <laughs> this is the one that's not let go for several minutes. Uh -huh. I don't want it to dry out too much. And then it doesn't want to dry and doesn't want to let go. There we go. Does this one get a handle or not get a handle? Gotta check. Does it say mug? It says mug. Gently rounding the edge off, and then I'm going to need to get the object that had the right curvature to round the, uh, create the concavity on the bottom of the cup. But yes, this is the round object that we use for the concavity on the bottom. It's a plastic skull, otherwise known as a Yorick. Oh, that's poor Yorick. Yes. Covered in clay. There we go. Carefully turn this screw back over. There. Mm. And um, you can board. I think that's the only piece that I need to use the shaping on. Oh, since I've got the little bits of black clay on my hand, this um, tan fairy is going to have freckles. <laughs> mm, there we go. You want the ones right here, right in front of you. Oh. Yeah. These handles are playing. Yeah, because it's that one's not going to have a handle. Yes, it is. Okay. You just don't need it right now. Just put this one over here. Then put this stuff over here from these handles. Yes. Oh yeah, for people who wanted to see the sculpting of the fairies, this is high contrast at the moment because this one is to be a light colored clay on the black cup. This one's actually what? Okay. Here we go. Ah. This one was actually a specific request as to pose. And in fact, this one is a not safe for work fairy. Oh, it's a boy fairy. No, it's not safe for work girl fairy. Ah, okay. Should she have red wings? She's going to be a red-headed fairy. Should she have red wings or should she have the light-colored clay wings? Mm. That's a good question. Because with the front-facing fairy, I have to put the the wings on relatively early. Put them with front her wings. Would they be considered more hair or more skin? Mm. 
That's a really good question. It's like, that's what I'm like, wait, mm -hmm. probably more skin. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That was my initial thing, and then I was like, but wait, <laughs> I doubt. I have an additional person here I can ask. if I do her with braided hair. Yeah. And right now she looks very gesture drawing. And I need to find some soft red. Sir? That's too soft. That's too soft. Okay. I need malleable red, not goop. Nope. Ah, there we go. This is not. Because the handle stub that you had right there was a little too firm. Because I need to make yeah. um, my coil basically the same thickness as the the arms there. Mm -hmm. huh. She said, I'd use red wings. It might be the better color. Contrast. Yeah. Because I don't want it to blend in with the, the body. Yeah, maybe red wings. That's also the reason why I haven't made the wings yet. <laughs> I know. It's the... Okay. Braid of hair. Well, you have... More, there are more opinions out there. <laughs> Thank you for your input. <laughs> Just move the arm for a second. Back off. <laughs> okay. Um, taking little pieces of red clay, uh, putting the hair on the head. I don't think I might be just bring it up over there. Bring what over where? There's still a phone thing. Oh, yeah. I can just unplug it. Yes. Should be able to last like an hour or so without any uh, additional electronic assistance.
Do we have sound now? Looks like we have sound now. Okay, so it looks like it may have lost track of the one on there when you pulled it halfway out. Oh dear. So all I did was switch it to the other webcam. So people, do we have sound again? Looks like we have sound. Got the little green bar jumping around over there. Okay, good. Tool, poof. Oh, you're using that tool now. That's why I can't find it. More tools. There we go, we got, we got thumbs up. We got thumbs up. Oh, good. yay. Now I can put these tools back down here since we don't have a kitten trying to run off with all of them. Thank you. 
because I'm going to be turning it off and turning it back on again see if that's going to help with this and it's still frozen let's go into yeah there it goes it goes black on that side so if I deactivate and activate it again there we go ha I figured out how to fix it <laughs> Now I could probably change it back to the other mic, which probably has better sound. Probably. 
No, so um, the other can't access the other one. That one may have to wait until the machine's restarted. Yeah. But I was able to make the frozen main can work again. Yeah.
step and then you wait a few days to a week. Yeah, it's days. Yeah, because those gotta be the longest period of time. Are you talking about the fairies now or the writings? The writings. Oh, so yeah, yesterday we were doing this painting. Yeah. Gotta alternate the painting. I'm doing too much of the same action. Too many days in a row. Because it hurts. It hurts. Too much background. Yes. So the last few days I've been wearing a good space because I've had birth of tendinitis. Annoying. You can tell when somebody has pain a lot, it's like, oh yeah, it flared up, it was annoying. Yes. That's like that British scale of um unamusement. Oh, I like that one. It's been upgraded from miffed to mildly peeved. Last time we were at peeved level was when we near the Spanish Armada. Yeah, that should be an arm. Rice. Mm. Our second one there should be kind of dark. Mm. Gonna have to set these ones on tiles. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool looking though. Okay. Uh, make sure you put them upside right. Well, by Bottoms upside right, up. is put put them very side up. Bottoms up. Oh yeah, because the board's dirty over there. Yeah. Um. Ah. Uh, you don't want a textured one either. Hmm. Oh, there's the napkin that I've been using over here to just wipe my fingers off with. Here, there's yeah, there's a clean spot on this napkin. Yeah. This is entirely the wrong shape piece of play. Of course, this one is a red one, so it probably would be because that could be for white clay. So this one's red. Oh yeah, you don't have to worry about that one. No. Oh, but I didn't put on that one with the numbers. Oh yeah, because with these we obviously with the fairies can't can't. Put work. It's on top of the um, thing with the rest of the stamps. Oh, that's what it is. This cat. Yes, the kitten was trying to run off with the maker's mark stamp earlier, which is another reason why she got taken back inside. But yet these, since they have a sculpture on the bottom, yeah, that's what I forgot to put on this one. I forgot to put the ear. This one has the ear on it. So yes. Okay. Well, I've only done two today.
things work on your phone is over there that is the workshop phone that's not actually a phone anymore like the few times we've had people actually call us while we're out in the walk workshop they call us on the home phone a lot of times we've forgotten to bring the um, cell out with us and it's like oh look well we would have had dirty hands and not answered it anyways likely I think after this one we should probably end the stream yeah probably mm. let me finish this ferry and then yeah. I will get up and um, end the sequence